Jim is dropped off at Ming's brother Mike's office in my stand-in episode 11, where Mike reminds him of his pledge to Ming. They are celebrating Joe's mother's birthday with Soul at his place. Though Soul isn't overly shocked to learn that it's about Ming's family, he nevertheless questions why Ming is in prison. Soul acknowledges his affections for Joe, but he was not surprised that Joe still had affection for Ming. Still, he will be there for him as a brother. Joe immediately takes off after learning that Ming is waiting for him at his place. However, Mike meets him there and informs him that Ming has been jailed at his home for acknowledging having a relationship with Joe. Even though Joe is ready to end his relationship with Ming, he wants to set up a meeting rather than just go away like the old Joe did. Joe discovers his mother has a copy of his paramour agreement when he gets home. She wants to move out right now and stop seeing him until he pays off the debt because she is horrified by the entire situation. While arguing that he didn't send it, Mike says he can still look around and set up a meeting with Ming. As agreed upon, Mike brings Joe to Ming, who is inconsolable and hasn't eaten in a week. He claims Mike promised to help if the old Joe came back, and he doesn't want to break up. As they persuade him, Ming's parents show there and get into an altercation. He becomes ill rapidly, and they have to take him to the hospital. However, Ming was lying to get out of their home. After all the commotion, Mike ultimately agrees to assist the two by confirming with the seer. Ming's mother soon follows them, but she lets Joe stay because of Ming. She acknowledges sending the attorney, and Joe pledges to reimburse her for the money she spent on his mother's care. She also consents to their relationship, but they will be responsible for handling his father on their own. When Ming brings up the proof that Tong used their family name to pay off his personal debt, Tong stops the talk, believing that Ming wouldn't want to injure his nephew. Ming is visiting his father. Mei's allegiance to Ming causes their father to declare that Zhou can only be with him if he abandons everything, including his company, and never comes back. Thus, Ming moves. They're finally together as they wake up next to Zhou at his former apartment. Zhou's mother was the last item to be sorted. Tong, meantime, serves Mei with divorce papers for selecting her brother. He also acknowledges that he wed her for financial gain. Upon her departure, the bill collectors show up. Tong meets Joe at work and asks for money to support his child. Just as Ming pulls up seeking for Joe, the boys kidnap him. Since they don't have Tong, the debt collector orders them to kill Joe. But Ming interrupts it with a call just in time. They visit their father because Tong needs to pay his 500 million baht, about 14 million U.S. dollars, by midnight. Angry, their father promises to pay off Tong's debt, but he will have to handle the loan shark on his own. Joe's mother will pay the 500 million baht if they have Ming, so Ming, Tong, and Mike head to the meeting place to exchange 10 million baht plus Ming for Joe. As they finalize the new agreement, the police show there, sirens honking. The men fire, thinking they've been outplayed, and hit Joe rather than Ming. When another person gets shot, the police break things up. However, Joe faints in Ming's embrace. Joe wakes up in a dream and discovers he is in a waiting area. He notices Ming and his companions encircling Joe's corpse. The seer speaks to him and informs him that although he is once more in a state of life or death, he has the ability to make a decision. You can decide to break free from this cycle and go out the door, or you can stay in it and enter his body again. He approaches Ming's body while observing him cry. The seer, who is constantly filling in for someone else, questions whether he is weary. Joe approaches the door, remembering the difficult moments he spent with Ming. And he leaves. The review of the episode. Let's chat about Tong for a moment, even though I know that's not why you're here. You know, the moment when he told me he married her for money? Perhaps he's attempting to shield her in this way. Is it just my optimistic thoughts? I must admit that I enjoyed this actor in earlier roles. I'd love to know what you think of this. In the meantime, Joe, our man, is never able to catch a break. 
However, I find it surprising that he decided to break the cycle and give up on his second Jodam. At the same moment when he was on the verge of living with the transformed Ming. People have a hard time letting go. Now that he's got the initiative, I have no doubt he will make a comeback. In a way, though, wouldn't you want him to have some well-earned tranquility? I adore this series as always. One more to go. Who's twiddling in preparation? Excited for next week's show already? This week's Aichi has no teaser, so we're all left in suspense. Have you been seduced by my stand-in? Is it just me, or is this well-developed plot impressive? Now is the time to admit it in the section below. Check out our conversation with the actors that played Joe and Ming before you go.